Well, hello and welcome to Henry's channel. This is Henry Clark's channel. I talk about things like brand in the box. I talk about production techniques. I talk about how to get a little bit more out of the product. But today, what I want to talk about is that uh, a couple of weeks ago, I made a video and it says about upgrading. Hmm, should I upgrade, right? You know, <laughs> well, I did. I upgraded from 2021 to 2022, right? Um, I'm somewhat satisfied, somewhat pleased, right? I think for me personally, from a production perspective, I think that um, wave automation, I think is one of the key things that I think really jumped out at me, right? Uh, Multi-riffs are so-so. I have a different technique that I use anyway, but it's a nice feature to have. And overall, the product has been very, very good. Um, I haven't had, I've had very few crashes. I only had a couple of crashes in trying to play some waveforms, but as far as the product goes, it's been extremely, extremely stable. I have noticed it's been through three updates so far, automatic updates from PG Music, right? But for me, the product has been stable. Now, it could be because I bought the hard drive version, which I've been doing for the last three or four years, because I did find it to be more stable than doing a lot of downloads and installs. But that's not what today is about. What today is about is today is about the fact that all up and down my channel, people consistently ask me what product, what band in the box version should I buy? Well, here's my opinion on that, right? And and they, they what they do is they will give me information saying, you know, well, I, you know, I, I, I just I just want to play background music with my band or something like that, right? You know, so I don't want to spend a little, as, as little money as possible. Now, my old mantra used to be, I don't like to tell people how to spend their money. But in this case, I'm going to deviate from that principle a little bit. And the reason why is because I, I, I was thinking like musicians, and I know musicians, I know a ton of them, right? I know guys that have 10 and 12 guitars, four and five drum sets, tons of keyboards, but when it comes to purchasing a product like Band in the Box for background music and composing, right, they don't want to spend a hundred bucks, you know, right? And I'm going, you, you kind of got this backwards, man, just so back up for a second. So anyway, so people ask me consistently on my channel, right, what version should they use because of what they do, right? I just want background music for my band and so on and so forth. Well, here's the deal, and this is Henry's opinion, right? I personally think that you should never get less than Ultra Pack. And the reason why is because with Ultra Pack, first of all, like Band in the Box has Pro, they have Mega Pack, and they have Ultra Pack, and of course, Ultra Pack Plus, Audio File, you know, I'm like, eh, you know, the audio file thing. I mean, you know, uncompressed wave files, but guess what? If you're gonna do anything that's gonna be played on any streaming service, it's gonna be compressed anyway, you know? And most of us, our ears aren't really trained for, you know, for that level. I'm not to say that you shouldn't be, right? But most of us aren't, you know, it's just that simple. But anyway, so I think about it and I look at the stats on Pro, right? And on Pro, Pro right now is $129 first time purchase, right? But I noticed that most of you guys are looking at being upgrades, right? So to upgrade from 21 to 22 for Pro is 59 bucks, $89 to go to Mega Pack, and $149 to go to Ultra Pack, right? Well, so that's like a 60 buck difference between, and that's if you have 20, 21 to 2022, 20, right? Now, if you have earlier than that, it costs you $169 to go all the way up to Ultra Pack, right? But why would you do that, right? Because you guys consistently come back to me saying, oh man, I wish I had got uh, Ultra Pack because with Pro, you get real combos and again the whole key to me with band in the box it's not midi i know people talk about midi all the time right if you don't have great vsts for midi it's not gonna sound a whole lot better because it's just gonna be playing through your sound card right it's those real tracks that make the biggest difference to me in using a product like band in the box because i think they just have fantastic real tracks so anyway so if you look at it from a pro perspective a pro gives you combos, mega pack gives you mega pack combos, and ultra pack gives you 3,300, 3,300 real tracks. Now, I know that not all of them are in the type of music that you want to do. However, from a perspective of buying 
all 3,301 pack, to me, it's much more effective than trying to search through different style and real track packages to try to get those because those packages on an average, the style packages on an average cost 29 bucks. The real track packages on an average cost 29 bucks, right? So think about it. You're going from mega pack to ultra pack for 60 or 70 bucks and you're getting all of the tracks versus going on trying to spend $29 here and $29 there, right? And remember, even then, there are some stipulations as far as what tracks you can use based on what version that you have. So again, so Mega Pack will give you some real track combos and Ultra Pack gives you 3,300, 3,300 real tracks. And consistently people come back to me and they say, I listened to one of your songs or I looked at one of your demos. What style is that? Or what tracks did you use because I bought Mega Pack and I can't play those and I wish I had. And there are also a lot of people that come back to me and they say, you know what? I really should have bought Mega Pack right from the beginning. So if you think about it, right? And I want to clear this up too. A lot of people think that real tracks are mini tracks and they are not. Real tracks are actually replacing mini tracks. The reason why you're using real tracks is so you don't have to mess with a bunch of mini tracks and MIDI controllers because the real tracks sound just like the real instrument. So think about it. Real musicians play real tracks, and if you're using MIDI tracks, right, you're playing that through, like I said, some type of VST. If you don't know what VST is, VST is a virtual synth. So that track is only going to be as good as either A, your sound card, or B, the virtual synth that you're actually feeding it through. Now, some people want to take it in, and you can take it all the way out to your actual you know, real keyboards and things like that, right? But again, that's not the function of using a, a product like Band in the Box, in my opinion, right? Because you want it all self-contained. The more pieces you have to inject into the flow of your music, the more complex that it probably gets, right? So again, real tracks are, are they, they don't call them samples, right? Even though I call them samples, right? Because they create waveforms, but they don't call them samples. They are saying they are real instruments, right? So a lot of people will say to me, they'll go, well, you know what? I wanted to change my real track to a MIDI track. In other words, take the actual real track and change it to a MIDI track, right? So it, it doesn't do that. That's not what it is. Real track is an actual performance by a musician. So that's what real tracks are. So again, if you think about it, a real track set, and I, I'm talking about a real track set with actual real tracks, right? I'm looking at like real track set 199 is a jazz pop piano, right? And it's got some real tracks in there, right? Well, here's another thing that happens to you, right? If you look at it and you say you, you want to buy this, this real track set, right, for $29. It tells you, Band in the Box tells you what version of Band in the Box you need. If you want to use real track set 199, for instance, right, you have to have Band in the Box 2015 or higher. So again, so even if you want to try to piece it together buying certain real track sets, you still have to have a version that will play those real tracks. And the same goes for styles. If you want to play certain style packs, right? Now, these are extra style packs I'm looking at right now, but the extra style packs are $29. And some of the style packs, again, are based on what version of Band in a Box that you have. Some of them say you have to have Band in a Box 2015 or higher or 2016 or higher or whatever. So think about it for a second, just from a cost-effective and an efficiency perspective. If you are going to upgrade from 21, 2021, I'm sorry, to 2022. No, let's just say if you're going to upgrade from an earlier version, 2020 on down to 2022, and you want to go to Ultra Pack, right now the sale is still on, so it's $169. So that's the Mega Pack is $99. So there's a $70 difference between going from upgrading to a mega pack up, upgrading to an ultra pack. However, in that ultra pack, you have 3,300 real tracks. Isn't that better than trying to piece it together, going into the Band in the Box website, playing this demo, playing that demo, seeing if that one works for you? You know, I mean, I know that you probably, and you're right, you're not gonna wanna use all the styles of music that are in Band in the Box. But I, I got to tell you, though, sometimes it's nice to have some of the extra styles and some of the extra real tracks 
that you maybe wouldn't think you might use. It's really interesting. Like I may do an R&B song, right? And some R&B, I may want to put a harp in there, right? And that harp may be in a classical reel track set, right? So, but guess what? Now, because of the fact that I have 3,300 reel tracks, right? I can actually add that harp. So you see what I mean? You know, so don't put yourself in a box. And from Henry's perspective, for those of you who come to me, and, and a lot of you actually come to me and go, man, you know what? I really wish I hadn't got the Ultra Pack. I wish I had got, you know, I mean, I wouldn't, I wish I hadn't have gotten the Mega Pack. I wish I had have gotten the Ultra Pack because I'm already disappointed because I hear stuff and I don't have those particular tracks. So from Henry's perspective, if you are going to upgrade, I think that you should spend the extra dollars and at a minimum upgrade to Ultra Pack. I think you will be a whole lot happier in doing that. Just having those tracks and those styles at your disposal will serve you better than trying to put it together piecemeal. So again, based on what I get, the feedback I get on my channel, right? I get a lot of it. People are always asking, what should I purchase? <clears throat> again, my usual thing is to say, I don't tell people how to spend their money. But in this case, I'm going to stretch out and tell you how to spend your money and tell you that if you're going to use Band in a Box, if you're going to upgrade, or even if you're not going to upgrade, right? Um, let me see. I just want to look this up real quick. Say you're not going to upgrade, right? And this is a little on the expensive side. Mega Pack first time purchase is two sixty nine, and I'm looking at the website right that just shows what they're costing right now. I don't know whether they have specials or not. I don't know whether you can get discounts or not. But Mega Pack is two sixty nine. Ultra Pack is four sixty nine. So that's two hundred dollars, right? Difference. However, think about it again, though. But two hundred dollars difference. If you tried to piece it together, buying style packs and buying real track sets that you want at $30 a piece is so easy for you to, in, to go far, far and exceed the $200 in putting those packs together. So again, from a value perspective, I think Ultra Pack is a much much better value. And that's my, that's my take on it, right? Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.